Right, hello guys, this is Dark Souls of C here, and I'm back to show you another calculator program. So, this one is actually a bit of a game, not exactly, but the, the process around it involves probability matters. So, what we're going to be doing here is create like a question game, like think of a yes or no question, basically, you act, it's going to act like a one of those like uh those orbs that tell you like yes or no this will happen this this will not happen like you I'll, I'll you'll basically see what it does at the end but what we're gonna do we're gonna sh well, I'm gonna show you how to make the program so first of all uh, in any case if you haven't seen my calculator program videos I highly recommend that you do it now uh, another one so first in the beginning we're gonna press program okay on your calculator I'm using a TID4 plus silver edition emulator go to create new and and uh... question we're going to call it question as in like standing for question game right, so now here's the command lines uh, of course we're going to begin uh, creating the command uh... the program so press program and go to eight okay oh well not pause but go to program go to IO and go scroll down or press A if you need to clear home this clears the screen now we're gonna say program IO and six this is the output command one over one comma make sure you separate the numbers with the commas second alpha quotation mark it's like alpha a lot it's like caps lock so here comes uh, the, the letter so uh, what I want to say for the first line is, think. Oh, actually, yeah. think of a. Now make another output, and now say two comma one comma alpha lock. Yes. Yes, alpha, turn off the alpha, slash, alpha lock again, no, question, enter, rinse and repeat, three, comma, one, comma, and, so if I move my thing right there, press, Enter. Okay. Press uh, um. Press output and then program. Pause. And there. Let's move this a little bit. There we go. So press enter. So basically, what we said here is think of a yes or no question and press enter. And basically, this is where you think of your yes or no question. Don't think like a complicated question. You can't just say think of a question and press enter. They're gonna think like, okay, what kind of question? So, next thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna clear up the screen again. All right, and now do program, or actually not program, because it's actually not in the program. Go to math and go to PRB. There's a math button. Go to PRB. Now say rand int or random in initial. I don't know. Uh, zero, comma seven. S T O, uh, arrow and X. So basically, rand in it's like a random. It's a command where it chooses the numbers that you choose from zero to seven, which you um, specified in your program right here. Uh, zero and seven. It's going to pick a random number from that, and the choice you get. Or what are words you're gonna get? So if you pick zero, we're gonna make this automatic and call it maybe. Or rather, you can you can start off simple. Actually, you're gonna do a simple program due to time restraints. So let's just call it a simple program, okay? So alpha and quotation mark. So if it, if uh, the default is zero, so if it's zero, it's gonna be maybe, okay? So now if Go to program and one, program one. If 
x is second math and go to equal sign, go to the equal sign, 1. If x is equal to 1, second alpha, quotation mark, yes. Or if x equals 2, second math equals 2. Or actually, we, we can actually simplify this because if it thinks that if we're going to rather say if and then second math logic not x, close that with the quotation mark, then we're just going to say, we're just going to say if, if it's not 1, then it has to be 2. So in that case, it has you have to say no, 2 is our no. And now we're just going to end it by uh, just saying uh, program, uh, go to output and say 4, 2. That, uh, just put those commas right there where they're supposed to be. And rather not put a quotation mark, rather just put second and negative, which will give you the answer. Close it out, press enter, program 8, program IO 8. So remember, it, the pause is by pressing program 8, and uh, clear home is by pressing program and IO and then 8. Go into IO and then 8. So yeah, and that's about the end of the program. It's really short. Um, not really that much work involved. Except for like that output, just you have to press all the letters. That, that That's pretty much all the work that you need. But let's test out our program right now. So when you made the program, now say now remember when you when you're editing the program do not press clear to go back to the screen clearing will clear command line and you don't want that so press second and quit and uh, it will lead you back into the home screen press program and it says exec or it means execute so press one and question and let it run think of a yes or no question and press enter so I'm just gonna say is this video gonna hit ten likes. Uh, oh, uh, and then I press enter. Maybe so that means that chose zero. I had the two. I had the three numbers I was going to choose. Now it's not. Always, now it's not. It's not going to give you maybe all the time. So let's just say, is this video not going to get any likes? Let's try that again. Is this video not going to get any likes? No. So that means this video will get likes. So just choose a random. It's just a random formula. Random is just like a random process in the processor. It just chooses numbers. Basically, just choose a number, and if this is this, then this will happen. That's basically what the program is all about. And uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.